Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create modern sites in SharePoint using PowerShell. In my previous demos, I've connected to SharePoint, I've created lists in the current site, but now we're going to create new site collections for each department. This is an array of departments that I've created from Excel. That's also from a previous demo. And now I'm just going to loop through those. And I'm not going to create new lists. I'm going to create new site collections for each of them. So let's do that. And of course, then I go to the command window here, commands add-on even. That's what it's called. And I'm going to search there for the site. Of course, I'm still in the module SharePoint PMP PowerShell Online. So there we have the new PMP site. So if I click on that there, see it has very few parameters. And then there's the new PNP tenant site, which has a lot more parameters. So the new PNP site is very simple. So let's start with that one. But I am sure it needs more parameters than just the ones it's showing there. So let's see that. There we're going to do get help to get some more parameters on that one. A new PNP site. And what we always want is, of course, examples. So let's look at that. And here you see. It has a title, it has an alias, it has um, the LSID for the language, all those things. But this is the simplest example. We'll do for each loop. I'm not going to remove any lists. We are going to create site collections. But it's the same kind of thing. Uh, we're looping through these departments. And instead, we're going to do a new PNP site. We're going to use a type of site that we're going to use the communication site. And then we're going to do the title. It's going to be the department. And then the URL is going to be the one same thing that we have up here. But of course, with the department name in the end. So let's do that. And let's just put that in a variable to make this more readable. We're just going to do the site URL equals that whole thing and then plus the dep that we are currently on in the loop here. That should do it. Let's see. Oh, two double. There you see. When you get a mistake like that, the ISC is really helpful in telling you something is wrong. So that's good. That makes it much better. And then let's just do a write host also and type in the site URL. And plus is being created. And let's show that uh, in yellow, four color yellow, just to show that it's going on. And three dots is always good also. Let's do that. So let's see. Let's run this now. Um, and there we go. We want to have the URL there, of course, the site URL. That's the one we want to have. All right. So we're looping through the apartment with a for each loop the department names from that array that we have up here. There we go. And I'm looping through that. And the depth will, of course, contain the name of every department as we go through this. So the URL, the right host, and then we're just creating the communication site. So let's run this now and see what happens. Sites HR is being created. Beautiful. Let's go out. There we go. And now it's got output that has been created. Good. So let's go here to the active sites in my SharePoint Admin Center. And there we go. The HR site has been created. All right. So the, this code for creating new site collections based on an array is working fine. Thank you for watching this demonstration.